hi guys good afternoon no it's the morning welcome back again to the channel thank you so much for clicking to watch this video as you all know that i'm still in ayegunle emo whatever i'm sorry the pronunciation is not even sticking to this brain yet anyway i'm still in ayegunle a town or a community nearby araromi so today i'll be taking you to where palm oil is being made we saw the place yesterday and we spoke with one of those guys that were working there and we seek for permission can this like can they take us through the process and everything so we were told to come this morning so it's not really far from the main community like you know Boro, you get what i mean <laughs> it's not too far it's like a five to seven minutes walk so that is where we are heading to right now and this side that i am presently is the market area they have days when people come from other communities to buy and sell in this town okay so we are going there now if you are new to this channel you'll see my beautiful face for the first time hi my name is rejoice please consider subscribing to this channel Turn on the post notification bell to all like this video share with friends and family and leave your comment at the comment section after watching this video okay thank you i'm breathing so fast because working alone is a whole lot of work and having to raise your hand and vlog is a whole lot of work yeah so i will talk to you guys when i get to the place yeah is there anything that i would love to say about ondo palm oil it's not my first time or second time i've always been buying their palm oil because they really sabi how to make palm palm oil i i mean a very good palm oil not the one that will be smelling no not the one that you put on fire and no mama rupa no mm -mm. they are palm oil in ondo in fact i say a bit at home is very 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 good and that is why i feel like why not let me just take you to the place so that i can show you how it is being prepared just in case are you calling me just in case you want to start palm oil uh, production you'll be able to at least something you'll be able to do it so i'm getting closer to the place here yeah if you know say i are hungry i never chop this morning uh, and with this food i like i'm not the kind of food where i like I'm where we <laughs> good morning fine thank you and yours yeah bye today where are you so we couldn't wait to film the palm oil production process because their workers did not resume to work on time and as for us we are working with time anyway let me give you guys my hotel room tour so you guys this is how the room looks like this is the entrance door okay and here is the bedroom that comes with this tower and here is the bedroom okay the only issue i'm having with this bedroom is there's no water like i mean running water so they have to keep fetching water from me but since i came here i've never lacked water and it's not that bad okay so this is how the rooms look like they have uh, this this is the switch for fan and this is for light they put on their chain in the morning and also throughout the evening and here is the tv this is the tv area and here is the table and there's this couch over there you can see my bag and yeah there's two windows i love that because it's more conducive as for me i don't like it so and this is the bed area take a look this is not looking bad as actually and also here is the light but the lighting in this room is not that sharp like not that sharp but it's one of those things at least it's for room and there's anger over there so 
that's the room tour for you guys so this room is for seven thousand naira okay seven thousand naira no ac but it's not that stuffy because of the two windows and yeah so that's the room tour guys hey guys it's been amazing 48 hours in ajegunle and no ama okay so it is time to go it is time to go back to our base okay i'll miss ajegunle thank you oh so now we are checking out thank you so much we want to be on our way now all right thank you so much we appreciate your love your everything god bless you ma amen. yeah amen till april by god's grace yeah <sighs> Baba Shale, go back, Okay. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, go, go. You want to go to the Go, go, go. Oh my god, go, go, go. So, guys, we are saying bye bye to Bye bye. Turn them to a game Take the best I say And put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh. And even when you feel low You can still go so we took a car from Ajegule Enwama to Okitipupa and from Okitipupa we boarded another car heading to Ore. Then from Ore we boarded a bus heading to Ibado. We spent about 8 to 9 hours on road and we got to Ibadan, Iwo Road to be precise, around 8 p.m. And from Iwo Road to my house was another one and a half hours journey. I think one hour, 40 minutes there about journey. And yeah, you guys, it was such a long trip.
Hi guys, good afternoon. I've not been talking to you guys since I came back from the travel because the girl has really been tired and I removed my lashes. So all day I've just been resting. Anyway, it's currently evening, like 5 30 thereabouts. I need to go out there to go and get probably a kg of chicken, then pepper because tomorrow is uh, the presidential election day and i'm very sure i won't be able to get anything out there and uh, honestly this house there's no food and i know i won't be able to order for food tomorrow so i have to go out and go and get few things that i'll just be, even if it's just chicken stew i will just prepare then i can always boil rice or probably any other food that i feel like eating so I will get dressed now and I will be heading out to so even get dressed and I will work for me right now. But what can I do? I just have to go out. So let's go. You guys, it's not even six o'clock yet, but most shops are closed. I don't know. This this election is actually making people to you know I'm back oh see, I don't know. Everybody has shot that. Like most shops that I brand today, before six, they already closed up because of the election. Just imagine. I'm sure glad that I'm able to get at least chicken and uh, pepper. So that one will sort me for tonight. I can't cook. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. But tomorrow, I know that I have something that I can always batch on. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? You guys, I'm working to my polling unit because the girl needs to vote, okay? So, today is the presidential election day, okay? So, we have to go out there to go and vote. But I, didn't, I decided not to go in the morning because I know people will be too much. So, it's currently past one. Ten minutes gone past the hour of one. So, let's go and vote, okay? <laughs> Come with me. Okay, I might not be showing. I won't be recording when I get there, obviously. But when I'm done, I'll update you guys. Yeah, you guys, I'm close to my pulling unit now. And I must tell you, the sun scorch like no man's business. The sun is very hot. Oops. You guys, the guest back home. I'm so glad that I didn't have to stay so long out there. I didn't, I didn't even spend up to 30 minutes at the polling center and I already voted. Okay. Can you guys see? So, we hope for the best Nigeria. We pray that God would help us to, you know, rebuild this country. That is the prayer. Yeah, I need to shower because the eat out there, oh, the eat out there is out of this world. I've not taken anything at all today, so I need to cook. Just make stew and rice, that's it. Living life every day, let it die, not okay. All I want and I pray. Hi guys, good morning. How are you all doing? It's Monday and I just came back from the gym. You guys, I'm feeling so tired. But today, I have few things to do. I won't be going out at all, or I don't know yet, but I'll be editing and uh, yeah, that's the major thing that we'll be doing today. And also I observed that, uh, notice that people do not really open shops and stores today because the presidential election result is yet to be declared. I think by 11 or something, it should be declared and this is 9.30 so we have like one and a half hours for that so you guys come and join me i want to have this orange and i'm hungry seriously we're going to start with this and um, i will cook in spark let's go and cook and um, edit i'm not sure if i'll be going out and i need to take down this hair you guys this hair is very rough now so i think i need to take it down and I'm not sure if I really want to go to the salon, so I might be doing it myself. It's different from Balabu, Bulubu, Bulaba. God bless P D A B C.
guys good morning <laughs> oh my god the long awaited results just came out and antinobu won the presidential election okay everybody has been waiting the result was declared exactly 420 by INEC. okay okay let me go back to editing actually i've been editing since 2 a.m so let's go back <laughs> Oh my god! Hey! I'll talk to you guys in the morning, okay? I'll talk to you guys during the day. On this day, I was heading to Bodija. I took bike and when I got to Bodija Ujuri, we had an accident, but I'm grateful to God because it was not too much and the bike was not really on high speed like that. So, help me to thank God I'm alive. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!